Hey there everyone, back today with an impressions video and this is a game that I am overjoyed to talk about today. It's such, so, so good. I'll start off just by saying it's so good. Um, but first I'll, I guess I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, this one right here. This is uh, Ryuga Gotoku 5 or Yakuza 5, it'll be in the US. But Yakuza 5 here is uh, I don't I don't even know <laughs> I don't even know where to start it's amazing uh, I played through this it came out at the beginning of December and I finished it maybe a week ago and it's so good this whole series is so good really ah almost there almost all the games are winners uh, what's it Dead Souls is the one that's uh, the the black sheep I guess it's not as not as good as any of the other games but regardless of that this one if you if you played Yakuza 4 and then you played Dead Souls and you're like what's happening in this series it's gonna be bad this will restore your faith in this series uh, first let me start by saying that this series is one of my favorite game series it's one of my favorite series I don't know ever maybe it, I I bought my ps3 to play this series so <laughs> um, I definitely enjoy it, but this this game takes a lot of things from the other games, adds new things, adds new characters, adds a new story, obviously, but keeps a lot of the same stuff to make it feel like, you know, still the same game. But what happens is, this game is so full of stuff. I mean, it's full of stuff to do, like, I can't even explain, I, I'll never be able to tell you how much stuff there is, because I'll just... I'll be forgetting stuff definitely and there's probably stuff I didn't even get to or find which is amazing but let me start by saying like the story itself is is uh really good um I mean it's good for, good for these ga games they're all kind of convoluted and there's always like these bizarre twists and things that happen and I guess that's part of the charm of it uh, but yeah I, I enjoy it and the story was really good I like the story for this one uh, more than three. I don't know if more than four, but uh, probably about as about equal as four story. <laughs> but when you play this, you'll find right away that you have way way <laughs> many options uh, for uh, stuff to do when you're playing. So you'll start the game and you'll you'll be running around town and you'll find that like you know you can there's a uh, kind of picture taking you can do of famous monuments and then you have like uh, these kinds of skill finding things where you take a picture of some strange event happening and you can learn some kind of special attack from that and of course there's like training missions and each character has their own specific trainer for special uh, heat actions that they can learn and there's a kind of street fighting tournament that's going on that your characters are entered into against their will and random people in the street fighting tournament will seek you out and try to find you in the streets and fight you uh there's uh kabakura kabakura which is like a cabaret club or like a hostess club um there's uh the sega arcade in there where you can actually play full versions of of uh, virtual fighter 2 and Taiko no Tatsujin, but there's only three songs in Taiko no Tatsujin, but it's still the game. You can still play it. And, of course, like, uh, I can't remember the name of that game, a Boxelius or something. It's like a sh kind of like shooting game also. And there's a lot of, there's just so much stuff to do. And each character has like their own different amount of things they can do. Every There's like a kind of guest chef, and he's like a famous chef in Japan, and he's like a guest in the game, and he he's looking for uh restaurants so your character will go around for him and like bring him to restaurants to try out food and by doing that you can learn how to like get a higher kind of health for your characters which is you know really helpful but let's let's start start how the game flows you unlike the fourth one where i think people were a little like weirded out by that you couldn't use the Kiryu who'd been the main character for the first three games like until the end so this one they kind of reversed that and you, the first character you start out with is Kiryu and then you move on to Taiga uh, Saijima 
who uh, has an awesome story again because he's back in jail and uh, he he ends up in like this kind of hunting village in the middle of uh, the mountains and he, he has all these missions where he's hunting so like it's like a totally different game you're you're running around hunting uh, deer and rabbits using traps or guns or and you can you have to fight a huge bear uh, it's there's just so much to do and so many different thing types of things to do that it's it's just really interesting and you'll move on to the third and fourth characters are Haruka which is the the little girl who is with Kiryu in the other games and her she's like becoming a kind of idol like a dancing singing uh, <laughs> celebrity or something so people know her and she like she has she goes her kind of battles are not fighting obviously she her game when you play as her it, it's like playing uh, Hatsune Miku also made by Sega of course but uh, Hatsune Miku with Haruka and you run around and you have dance battles and you have song battles with other people on stages and it's it's like a totally different type of game every character feels like a like almost a different type of game where you run around after that with Haruka and also Akiyama are in uh, Osaka at that point and they run around and they have a lot of missions that cross over between each other and it's just so the, like again there's all types of different things to do there too so when you run around with Haruka she uh, she can actually uh, challenge people to dance battles on the street and she has like a kind of friend who is her also her rival who uh, keeps setting her up to fight in these like other dance battles against dancers and around the town around town and it's 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 all pretty interesting like what I want what I also wanted to mention that I forgot was that not only is there a main story for that all the characters are interested in, there's a separate side story that's called another drama for each character. So it's a it's like having a complete mini game, like a mini story that's only related to the character you're using. So it's like having a full overarching story plus each character has their own separate side story. So Kiryu has all these taxi driving missions which are like, it's like playing uh, I don't, like Daytona or something. It's you know like a Sega racer because you race the taxi on the highway against other taxi drivers and kind of like this gang, which is, you know, again, it's like another type of game inserted into this game, which is like already full of interesting things to do. And these these stories are actually completely optional. You don't have to do them, but you know you want to do them because they're fun and the story is interesting and you get like a whole different slew of characters that you can meet. So after, the, the last part actually is uh, the, a new character who is like a kind of baseball, he's a baseball player, he was a baseball player who got like a lifetime ban from baseball for uh, some kind of cheating incident that he didn't really take part of, they kind of, he was kind of set up for it. And <laughs> he's, it's like funny because if you know the other characters from the other games, you know their personalities and they're all kind of like cool badass dudes and then the baseball player comes in and he's like this whiny little dude like he's getting he's always getting like smacked around by everybody and he's always whining about something but like and you kind of when I first started playing it, I'm like who is this guy I don't even like playing as this guy but actually as you play him you you really start to like him because he's like He's kind of a whiny dude, but he's also like this, sm like such a smart ass, and like he says like funny things all the time. So like, and then in the end, he he actually can. He's actually like a pretty good fighter. So like, he, I uh, you know he's good to use. But you know you kind of start out thinking like, who is this whiny little jerk? And then like, you really start to like him because of the things he does for people. He really, it's it's like strange because like. He really does care about people, even though, like, uh, they're, uh, you know, he's always getting beaten around by them, and he's like, feels like that nobody cares about him. But, you know, and then the end, of course, it's a Yakuza game, so of course, at least a part of the ending has to end on t with shirtless guys fighting on top of a building. Uh, it's like a theme for the game, so that does actually happen. It's not a spoiler; it happens in every game, but that's not the complete ending, so. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of stuff in between and after, but, uh, 
you know, the theme of the game is kind of like, uh, the, the subtitle is Yume o Kanaishimono, which is like, uh, the person who can fulfill a dream. And the theme of the game is like really about having a dream and, and going after it. And like the type, the type of people who have a dream and can fulfill a dream and the people who don't have a dream and how they turn out. So it's actually like a pretty interesting story. And, you know, it's, it's kind of like, uh, it's touching at points and funny at points. And I know like people, I know a lot of people say like, oh, I never cry in a game or whatever games. I don't take it that seriously, but I'm like totally opposite of that because like I really get invested in characters, especially when I played this game, which took me about 90 hours to beat. And I want to say it took 90 hours to beat it, but I, uh, I, I think my total clear percentage at the end was about, uh, less than 50% which uh, means I didn't do a lot of the side stuff that you can do. I didn't go to all the restaurants and get the food, and I didn't do any of the, the uh, club stuff, and there's a lot of stuff I didn't do. So I, I played it for 90 hours, and I didn't do, like, even half of the stuff I was able to. If, you know, that lets you know how long this game could be if you wanted to play it. Even though there's... Even after you beat it, there's a bunch of challenge modes also that you can also play, which is... You know, this game could really last you a couple hundred hours, I think, if you really wanted to put in the time to get 100% in it. But, like I'm saying, I get really invested in these types of games. Uh, it's kind of, it's, you know, got a great story, interesting characters, and games like this, man, if there's not a time where I play a Yakuza game where I'm not, like, tearing up or, like, uh, <laughs> some, some tears are just dripping out of my eye every once in a while, it's not a Yakuza game because it totally happens to me every time. And uh, not just this, too, like stuff like Persona or like, uh, you know, uh, SMT and stuff. Those kind of games, like, they hook me, like, with the characters really good. And, like, you know, I remember playing Persona 4 and I'm, like, you know, like, having this stuff because I can't see the screen. I'm, like, totally crying because the uh, thing is, like, moving me, I guess. That's the uh, how it works. I'm not ashamed to admit that. That's right, I don't care, I cry in some games. Uh, I get, uh, I'm get. i just getting invested, and this game really does it. It gets you invested in the characters. You really like them, and you really want them to succeed, and when sometimes when they don't, it's like, you know, you feel really bad for them. And sometimes, you know, it's not even like you're crying because it's sad. Sometimes you're crying because it's happy, like they're doing something really nice, and something really kind of like touching happens to them, and you're like, oh, that's great. It's like those you know, long distance commercials where people cry or whatever. Um, it's not, it, it's that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, this is, this is running long, actually. It's longer than I expected it to be, but there's actually so much to talk about with this game. It's just, it's so long, but it doesn't feel long, and you really want to play it more and more and more. And, you know, I keep going back to try and clear the, uh, the, uh, special things to unlock bonus po bonus uh, items and stuff, but I haven't, like, you know, really done it, sat down and done it seriously. But, you know, this just playing through the game normally, uh, without, with just playing all the another, another drama parts and all the sub stories, took me about 90 hours to beat the game. So, it's definitely worth whatever, if it comes out in English, and I hope, I really hope it does, because it's such a good game. Uh, I'm like completely puzzled as to why this game isn't way, way more popular in outside of Japan than uh, than it is because this series is just so good and this one is just another great entry in the Yakuza series. So I guess all in this impressions here, uh, it's really the kind of thing where if this comes out in English, you should immediately buy it. If it's announced in English, pre-order it and don't look back. It's something you'll definitely want to play, and something you'll definitely thank me. If you've never played Yakuza and you play, even if you haven't played a Yakuza game right now, buy, go buy one now. Buy four, it's great. Buy three, it's great. Um, but if five gets announced, definitely pre-order it, definitely buy it, definitely play it. It's spectacular. So that'll be my impressions of Yakuza 5. So, hope you guys enjoyed that, uh, <laughs> uh, and I hope you guys actually buy the game if it comes out, because 
it need the series needs a lot more love outside of Japan, and it deserves a lot more love than it gets. So definitely, definitely buy Yakuza. So all right, that'll be it. I will catch you guys next time.